In this lecture, we will create a visual to show the average days between the actual sales delivery date and the delivery due date by quarter. Create a custom column chart. On the sales table, select the sales delivery column. And then on the drop down list, select average. Next, we want to add the quarter for each year to the visual. But first, it seems as if I didn't change the table name when the date table was created. Go to Edit Queries, click on the Invoked Function Table and rename the table to Date Table. Add the quarter and year columns to the visual. It is clear that something is wrong with this data as it is unlikely that the average delivery date will be 0.09 for every quarter. Normally, when you get the same numbers for each interval, it means there's not a relationship between the tables. Go to Manage Relationships and add a new relationship between the date table and the sales table. This data is more realistic. However, the quarter periods are not sorted correctly. We want to view the visual in quarter order that is quarter 1 for 2019, then quarter 2 for 2019, and quarter 3 for 2019. The reason why these quarter periods are not sorting correctly is that we have the column as a text type. So how do we sort the data if the type is a text type? The solution is to create an index column, which will serve as a reference for the text column. Go to Edit Queries. We want to make a copy of the date table. So right click the date table and select Reference. You may ask, what is the difference between referencing and duplicating a query? Duplicate creates a copy of the query with all the existing steps. The new copy is independent from the original query. You can make changes in the original and new query and they will not affect each other. When you select reference, a copy of the query with only one step will be created. This query gets the data from the original query. Rename this new query to date table sort, then delete all the columns except the date column and the quarter and year columns. We want to see the dates in ascending order, so sort the date column by ascending order. Then highlight the quarter and year column and remove the duplicate dates. The next step is to add an index column to this query. Go to add a column and add an index column. Name this column date sort. Then delete the date column and click on close and apply. Now we have to create a relationship between the date sort table and the date table or else we won't be able to look up the sorting reference from the date sort tables. In the date table, create a new column named date sort. 
then use the related function to look up the index reference from the date sort table. We need to tell Power BI to sort the quarter and year text column by the date sort column. Highlight the quarter and year column and under modeling, click on sort by column, date sort. Okay, so now the quarter periods are in the correct order. Next, we are going to format this visual. On the format tab, under general, Change the width to 530 and the height to 230. Change the title to Sales Deliveries by Quarter. And let's apply conditional formatting to the data colors. The lowest value must be maroon and the highest value must be green. We can use the analytics tab to help us find more insights in the data. Add an average line. And also add a constant line, which will be our target line. Let's say our target is to deliver one day prior to the due date. I'm going to select this bright green custom color for the target line. And then finally, also add a light gray border to this visual.